Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Vel, and we're back with another one. And this one, we're gonna be checking out Onyx PH versus um CFU Gaming. And people are saying, people are watching this. Is already comments on it saying it's over for BTK. So I guess BTK got matched up against these guys. They're gonna be going out against these guys next. So people are saying that their their little run or whatever is over with because now they're they're going against the big dog. So. We're gonna be checking out some of that content. I haven't watched any of it yet. I have to get updated and you know see what's happening. But let me know what you all thinking about that in the comment section down below. But let's jump straight into this reaction. I want to see what's going on throughout this gameplay that's making people say it's over for BTK because th this is crazy. It's crazy. Like I know everybody's saying that this is the best team, but dang. But let's get into it, y'all. Be sure to drop that thumbs up and subscribe. Tile of here. I mean, they're playing. Be keep in mind, they're playing Beatrix. Okay, Franco Beatrix, Franco Low Yi, a very Indonesia coded. A shout out to, if I'm not mistaken, it's Evos Legends back in MPL Philippines season 13. Who saw me? And this time around, still early pressure. Wanted to take it a couple shots. Might have taken too many. Won't be able to escape that first blood in the hands of King Kong. Might be looking for more. Oh, Detective runs into the wall with the oh. Cyclone Eye. Already a double. For that was King crazy. Kong. And that's not a what minute in is crazy. What is Iron Hook? But it's looking like Super Prince wants to go in. Super Prince wants to go for Z. There's the Raging Sandstorm. They're going to be able to pick <laughs> up the kill this time around for Brusco. Good couple of shots from Super Prince. You know, that's the They're thing. They're just going to secure these buffs here for Detective. Turtle spawns now. Oh, there's the uh -oh, hook. This might be a lockdown. Them. They're looking for Bloody Hunt. Oh, too. they got one. Take it out, Brusco. Good response from CFU. Diversion. Diversion gonna be used. Get in position. But they still have work to do. And that's what we were saying. OP really needs to connect with oh, Iron Hook. Oh, there's, kick. there's the kick from Kirk. Oh. Right into the blades of King Kong. And there's a shot. Z has to be careful. He takes another bad impact. But that's why Kirk, he held to stop the game from just scaling out of favor. Diversion gonna be used. They send in the whole team through. Looking to crash down. Bruce going oh. in trouble again Got as he's taken out by Z. Super Jeez. Prince and Kalra still gonna be okay though. Four members from CFU focusing on the bottom side. So hectic, bro. That's in crazy. Trouble as a double for Z, and now They're not Super going. Prince in trouble as they Ooh. pick up another kill. And Bringing CFU it back. now taking the momentum just around the corner. King Kong freeze as well. Look at the play though up here. The tier two was being worked on the whole time. And now they're going to go take this not purple easy. buff away. There's the pole, though. Brusco jumps on in. Kirk's already out. Kelra drops the Zom in force. King Kong takes the shot on the backside. There's no turret to help them out. They're still taking the brunt of the damage, and they have to back off. As f -Nop loses to OP with a flicker back after the hook. Oh and there's my the shot goodness. from Zing finally lining it up and takes out King Kong. CFU. In lane, but at what cost at the same time? There it is. A Yo, I didn't know CFU was this good. Everybody's making it seem like Onik is just, I, I mean, and to be fair, I know it's just like, you know, this is only one game, but everybody making it seem like Onik just can't be stopped. I was thinking Onik was out here just full sweeping people, but this is a game. They fighting back. Like, it's like, you know, it's it's a, it's a tough game. It's an actual matchup. So, yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. I wasn't expecting this. The way everybody been talking about Onik, I'm thinking that they just out here slapping people down, not letting them do nothing, but... I mean, look like they're going to have to fight for this one if they're about to win, because this is crazy. They can. King Kong will avoid that hook. They're going to crash down, looking for Wadu. But there's Kirk with the kick right on the mark. And then the Raging Sands on the back side. They're cut okay. off into two. Bruce going to okay. heal back up. And Detective gets taken out. A great team fight from nah, that free But lord. now the Lord free on lord. their sights for the taking. Just like that, Fnatic once again back on top. 15, the Detective's level 11. I mean, they're going to clear out this lore just fine. They got but one. Kirk goes in with a kick again. The way the dragon right on the mark. And Wadu taken out in an instance. And that's the overload of damage that this lineup from FNOP gives. They won't get to this the lord. There's a concealed. Brusco gives him the information. Wadu again at the front of it all. The lord's going to be taken. And CFU tries to take a detective. Will be able to secure the lord. But who's going to win the fight? Wadu in trouble. He goes down. Okay. The trade already. The one for two. But Kirk on the hunt. Looking oh for it. My goodness. In. There's the kick. But the diversion will save him. They get back to base. With a crown there. And now FNOP has to clear out the lord. <laughs> Good usage though to stay alive for CFU. But FNOP 
How are they going to play around this? They have four members ready to go ahead and push in. Detective got left behind. I see what they do. That place. He became the sacrificial lamb for CFU Gaming. That's why CFU, they, they, they weren't able to utilize the Lord that Fnatic Onyx easily bursted down. And now they have to watch out for the range that Superfins has been showing with the Sanguine Claws, with the Bat's Impact, especially at this point in the game. Already has 200 plus stacks with the Bat's Impact. And it's going to be crucial for CFU Gaming to get the necessary pickoffs that they need. OP this once game, it, But there's a diversion play. Are you going to commit though? Diversion again, oh. right in the Bruce Coast arms. Oh. Locked down too. Got him. Fight anyway. Kirk gone out of the picture as well. Super Fritz firing off from the backside. Pops the bat's feast and the bat impacts are too much to handle. What? Bro, how did they lose that? What? That, that was a crazy, that was crazy. Like, that was a crazy teleport there. Okay, there's a that was unexpected. They instantly wiped them out and then lost. It's crazy. Are you going to commit, though? Diversion again, oh. right into Bruce Coast arms. Locked down, too. But they're going to fight anyway. Kirk gone out of the picture as well. Super Fritz firing Sicilian. off from the backside. Pops the bat. All that damage, the bad impacts bro. Are too much to handle. Super Fritz Sheesh. and King Kong will get the wipeout. The two of them will march down the mid lane, and it's way too long for the rest. Yeah, like Sicilian is putting in work. Like, look at how much um, that his damage is high, bro. That was crazy. Like Sicilian, even though he ain't got he ain't got as many kills as some, probably. Like, that's crazy. Like, dang. So these death timers to come up. They march in brutal. with the minions. The mid turret's gonna go down. They should have enough clear to go ahead and close out the game as King Kong and Super Friends will cap out this best of one against CFU Gaming. The Super Family once again reigns supreme. Woo! Despite the unexpected diversion play, despite the pickoff onto Brusco, you cannot count out the mechanics the Sicilian of Super Friends, one of the most unsung heroes in this M series. What a huge win for Fnatic going up 2 0 in the standings. Nice, Sue. I mean, do, do, do you expect CFU, though, to be this aggressive, to be to, to go head to head with Fnatic on it? Because this was a, quite a close match, and I'm just really excited. It's like, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't know that there was any team that that was going to be that close to them like that. They played that very well. And then that last play right there, <clears throat> it's not even a bad play. It's like, it's that's a tough one because you, I'm like, how you even lose that? Because that one, I mean, Onyx just did what they were supposed to do right there, bro. Like they got hit, caught off guard. The enemies came out of nowhere and took out one instantly. That was, they made it a, a, a freaking 4v, 4v5 instantly. And then Onyx still managed to, you know, turn that around and, and do what they were supposed to do. So you got, I got to pay the respects. I got to pay the respects to them because they did an amazing job right there. That was dope. So yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. How y'all feeling about that? Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications. We got a lot more coming. And yeah, I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Peace out, fam.